Hi guys, welcome back to Brew and Build. What I have for you today is a beer that I started designing without a real idea of what style or name I was going to put to it. What I was just putting together was a, a, a number of ingredients to get to a taste uh, that I was after. I, I kind of knew what I wanted to get out of it, but I didn't really have a, um, I guess, a a style to define it at the time and what I've ended up with I think is what I could probably best describe as an Abbey style pale ale. Um, I'll run you through the ingredients and you'll, you'll start to get an idea as to maybe why that is. Uh, so what I've got is three and a half kilograms of pale malt in here that is the the main base of, of the beer really. I've then got 500 grams of wheat malt in there just to richen it up once again, give a bit of head retention uh, to the beer. Uh, I've got uh, 100 grams of crystal malt, 20L in there, and I've got 100 grams of crystal malt, 120L. And the idea being I, the, the 20L is quite light and, and tastes very little of caramel uh, but the the 120 l then gives that darker toasted sugar um, flavors and, and and it really gives a, a a nice body and sweetness in into the beer uh, hops wise i've got quite a lot of hops in this so at 60 minutes in the boil, I've put in 25 grams of Fuggles. I've then gone for uh, 20 grams of East Kent Goldings, and that's in at 30 minutes. I've got 20 grams of Fuggles again, going in at 10 minutes. And then in the Whirlpool, uh, for 15 minutes at 74 degrees Celsius, I've got 40 grams of East Kent Goldings uh, and that gives the real fruit flavours uh, that this beer really sort of shines with. The yeast I've used is White Labs WLP002 English Ale Yeast. Now that's an unusual yeast at the best of times for me. Uh, I've said before, it's it's kind of lucky dip as to what I get out of the fermentation. Sometimes it stops where it's predicted, and sometimes it uh, just goes on forever. This one went on forever. Uh, I fermented for about five weeks, potentially six weeks, uh, until it really stopped. The estimated percentage alcohol percentage on this what have we got was 4.8 percent is what beersmith said it should be but uh, this yeast strange stuff it ended up at 6.1 percent which actually has worked really really well uh, and with the the flavors that i was trying to get uh the the slightly higher alcohol actually works really well um and what what it sort of ends up with, with all of that East Kent Goldings uh, in there, especially in the Whirlpool, what I was after was the taste of the taste of a European or a Belgian triple, but I didn't want that sugar and high, really high alcohol. Um, I wanted it thicker, like a, a pale ale, more like an English sort of pale ale. Um, the water profile, though, what did we do? I did... Uh, a really strongly mineralized and sulfate forward water profile on this. And that also ups the body. Uh, the sulfate forward profile slightly accentuates a little bit more of the hops bitterness. Um, otherwise it, it would end up being a little bit too sweet, I think. So with all that said, let's open it.
Let's open it and we'll see what it's like. So the head on it looks great. Uh, the, the wheat malt really has done the job and I'm sure the crystal malt to a certain degree is, is giving it pretty good head retention to it as well. The beer itself is a beautiful colour. It's, it's a really nice gold, gold colour to it. And I don't know whether you can see it, if I can get it forward there. It's quite clear. It's ended up quite clear. Um, it, it didn't clear brilliantly in the tank. It wasn't until I got it in the bottle that it totally cleared out and dropped out and it took about a month to drop clear. But the smell. Now, if I was to smell that and not know what it was, I would say it was a Belgian triple. I would say it was Abbey styled something. You get you get light banana and there was actually a decent amount of banana given off during the fermentation uh, of, uh, of this yeast. And once again, with, with this WLP002, I've often had Belgian notes of the beers that I brew with it. Especially if you, if you really ramp the temperature up during fermentation, you get quite a lot of esters and slight banana notes to it. But it also smells really strongly of that East Kent Golding. And it smells it smells fantastic. Straight away the taste of the hops comes through. It's it's really fruity. It's it's got that notes of pear, I I think is probably the best thing you could you could say to that. Pear maybe a little bit of apple in there and and you're getting notes of, of a very slight banana uh, esters from that warm fermentation from the english ale yeast as well it's it's not light like a triple it's it's nice and full-bodied more like an english pale ale and you you could maybe just call it an english pale ale but i think it's got it's got even more character to it uh, and I, I that's why i think it's more abbey styled rather than just an in plain i say plain english pale ale lovely and sweet not overly sweet the the crystal malt comes through it's not, it's not caramelly, but it is, it, it is definitely crystal malty. Um, but that, that real hard fermentation to get down to that higher alcohol level and that really low finishing gravity cuts through any of the sweetness. So it's, it's sweet, but it's not at all cloying. It's, it's, it's lovely. It, it's, it was a strange beer uh, when it when it first went in the bottle. We kept trying it for for the first sort of month and thinking it's kind of it's kind of nice, but it's really kind of unusual. And about two months in, it came into its own, and we just keep going back to the box. It's it's almost finished now. But we just keep going back. It's just, it's such a nice drinkable beer. Really fruity uh, and, and lovely through the summer. So as an experimental, almost one of beer, I, I think I'd be tempted to make this one again. We really enjoy it. It's, it's, it is quite like a, a more full bodied triple. Uh, worth a try. If you feel like doing something different, maybe give this one a shot but once again the sun's out outside uh, there's some left of the afternoon so i'm going to go out i'll sit on the porch and i'm going to enjoy the rest of this till then life's good drink more beer